my makeup is all patchy like because i've been out for hours and this is the hair literally no flakiness people thank you so much for clicking on my video it's Liza live and welcome to my channel Woo! so listen I found the secret to a sleek ponytail no flakes nothing nada if you're interested to know how I managed to achieve this look keep on watching and make sure you like comment subscribe and all of that okay let's get it let's go Mwah. bye so hey let's get down straight to business so right here i'm just combing out my hair i'd literally taken time to straighten my hair my hair is 4c natural so it takes quite a lot of time i'd already done that and i'm using the wax right here uh, for my edges just to help it like sleek really nicely because obviously i've kind of damaged my edges so the hairs in, in the front of my hair is literally very short so I have to also wear my protective gloves to try and make sure I get um, through to the um, the roots as closely as possible without burning my scalp. Listen, I've burned myself so many times. But yeah, so I've literally just done that. And the secret here is to make sure you don't put a lot of product in your hair when you're straightening it. So I just literally used um, heat protectant. So this part is optional. If your hair is easy to sleek, then you don't necessarily have to do this part. My natural hair is very nice and thick, falsy hair. So I literally decided to split it in half, right in the middle like that. And literally use the hot comb right there as well to help it be as sleek as possible. Then I went ahead and sprayed it with the got to be spray and I brushed it. Once that's done, you can then like blow dry it. Um, so the whole step is spray brush and blow dry it um so with the blow dry i used it on a high setting but i made sure that it was blowing cool air so it really depends on the um, blow dryer that you're using i realized that when i used um the hot setting um it was turning a little bit white because it gets a bit flaky when it's extra dry if that makes sense so use less product and i i suggest you use um, very high setting but use the cool setting if that makes sense so as you can see I'm working in little in little sections that is the best way to mold um, the ponytail um, if you do it in bigger chunks it's it takes more time and it's not as sleek as you would want it I hear I was literally like brushing because I needed to get to my friend's uh, birthday dinner all the way in London I was running behind schedule so I was kind of like rushing through it but I think the best is to make sure that you don't have anywhere to go or if you do that you have ample time because when you do it in less sections and you mold it you know in tiny tiny sections it works out better and it makes the sleeking process and the molding process so much easier for you i then went ahead and took out some edges from the back of my neck um, this is obviously not compulsory but I just want it to have like an extra because they don't normally sit anyways for me um, so I just tend to take it out and just curl it to make it look nice and fluffy around the back this is me showing you that I'm using the cool settings um, around at the back of my hair the back was literally taking a bit longer because it's harder to see um, so also it's best to try to make sure that you're starting from the back so that once that's done you can easily do the, the front because the back takes more time because you can't really see behind you and you need a mirror like a, a mirror like this um, and one behind you um, you can use the computer I've been seeing people using like Apple products to do this I'm not quite there yet but yeah whatever way that helps you to see your back properly make sure you're doing it properly and you're sleeking that pony baby when it comes to the front bit the less product the better literally even better so what i decided to do is again uh take them in sections and take each line spray it and basically mold it um this would help with like making sure that it's nice and sleek without looking too cakey and obviously the less products the better for the nice uh, sheen and also so that it doesn't flake up so this is literally what i'm doing right around the front um divide spray brush and blow dry 
and literally just repeated the whole step until I got the whole front bit completely done right here I'm literally just completely done I am just brushing it one more time to get it as sleek as possible and to make sure that I tie it really nice and firm um, it's best to use rubber bands those plastic ones um, but I didn't have that so at the moment I'm literally just using the normal hair bands and then again going over it one more time with the brush to get any last minute flyaways and using the blow dryer once again to go over it um, and mold it as much as possible this is what we're dealing with at the moment it's looking nice but we've still got some more work to do and i'm literally just going over it one more time brushing 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 and literally blow drying it one more time to get that specific that sleek mold that we actually want so after that final mold i decided to take out the um the band and tie it one last time literally bear with me because you're gonna have to take it off and on and off again like until unless of course you want to like um pile it up so if you're using the plastic band then you can like do a second one on top of what's been already done do you know what i mean but anyways right here i'm doing my edges i literally should have taken them out before i molded so this was actually quite um irritating for my edges so please don't do that make sure you get your edges out before you mold because then pulling it out of the bunch gets a little bit painful and you risk um pull out, pulling out your natural hair so now that the hair is molded i decided to go ahead and like braid my natural hair um upwards like that standing nice and stiff and then i'm using these um strips wrap strips um they usually have in black as well but i didn't have they didn't have black in my local beauty store so i went with the white one which was still okay because it was tucked away so i wrapped it all around and i used the um eyelash glue well it's hair glue actually this is what it's meant for <laughs> but i do use it for my lashes so do a lot of other girls but yeah so i literally just wrapped that all around um this little pony stick pony stiffness that's on top of my head right now and i literally just go one with the glue um and then i start wrapping so i'm using this hair if you'd seen my birthday vlog or my drag queen um drag party vlog if you haven't seen it please do go ahead and check it out uh, i bought this synthetic hair that can be ironed from the beauty store um i decided to go with that to, to do this ponytail and i decided to start wrapping it this was a little bit messy as you can see the glue stuck all over my fingers um but it's worth it literally i just started wrapping it from the tip the tip of the the stick or the pony and then i started wrapping it the secret here is to wrap as tight and close to the previous one as possible and literally glue as you go and on top of that you need to be um, blow drying it to make sure that it's drying properly so um, if you do it really nice and firm as you wrap like if you wrap really nice and 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 tight it will definitely not come out i literally had the style in for over a week a week and a little bit um and i took it out because it was just getting too old especially my edges but the ponytail was still intact um so once that's all wrapped i literally just take out a bit of the extra hair and i spray it we've got to be glued or got to be free spray and i start wrapping because i like it when i have that extra um pony when it's quite like nice and wrapped up there don't know how to explain it but i want it that way so i just kept wrapping and wrapping um until it was nice and thick so i decided that this little wrap there was not enough i wanted it to be a little bit more exaggerated so there's this little hair that i had cut from this very same bunch um for my previous um ponytail that i'd done i decided to attach it at the um that bit i don't know how to explain it i decided to attach it from there and wrap that little side all round until i got through to the other side and then i basically grabbed it and started wrapping the rest of the hair with it because i just wanted it to be very nice and thick up there and the secret to wrapping is literally make it as flat as possible and spray with got to be glued 
and spray with the um, blow, I mean blow dry it to keep it nice and intact um, this can be a little bit tricky because if you don't do it properly um, it can unravel so you need a lot of patience and you just need to make sure you're wrapping it nice and firm so I wanted a blunt cut so I really struggled here I'm not gonna lie if you're with someone at home your best bet would be to get that person to cut it for you because if you swing it to the left or the right or to the front whichever way you can think of it it's literally gonna be a little bit crooked like I just kept cutting it until it looked a bit too short and wonky and I wasn't happy with it because I just wanted it to be nice and like straight um, that was stressing me out and I was running late so I decided to leave it and do my edges so I later on got my boyfriend uh, to cut it for me which ended up being really really cute for my edges I don't have that um, tiny straightener so I use my normal straighteners and it kind of works I just curled them all and basically then went in with my edge controller edge brush well I this is obviously a toothbrush but <laughs> I left my edge brush at home, okay, at my brother's, so I decided to just use the this very old toothbrush. So I'm using the Edge Booster in Coconut, the white one, and then I also went over it with the Ego Styling Gel. And then I literally sprayed my hair with spritz and then went over it with the Sheen Spray. And then I tied it down with the wrap strips. And let me tell you, the hair did not move. And here's the final look. Don't I look gorgeous? Honestly, this is insane. Thank me by liking the video, subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hey guys, so this is me. It's now 3.52 a.m. My makeup is all patchy, like, because I've been out for hours. And this is the hair literally no flakiness like i think i've busted the technique i've i've nailed it what do you guys think and this was my first ever time trying it and also the edges as well i was sweating like if you know me i love to dance i mean not that i was dancing the craziest but after a night out we all know what the edges normally would look like after a night out this is what we're looking like you know still fresh and clean so i'm gonna try another video where i do like without um straightening the hair but yeah i just thought i'd let you know